What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So on this YouTube channel, I've been talking about how the Samsung DeX can replace your PC. But a lot of people have been hitting me up and saying that, well, Apple has been doing this for a long time. Actually, DeX is late to the game. Uh, so today we're going to compare the DeX with Apple TV using the iPhone 10 and see if I can mimic each other and see which one is King Supreme. Now for this comparison, I'm using a keyboard and mouse on DeX and I'm using the Apple keyboard and actually you can't use a mouse on the iPhone because it doesn't have, unless it's jailbroken, uh, you can't use a mouse on the Apple iPhone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a comparison, trying to mimic each other and see which one is King Supreme. So get your popcorn ready. Ooh, and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So today I am going to compare the Apple TV and the DeX uh, with the iPhone 10 and the Galaxy Note 8 and see which one can mimic a PC. Uh, I've been showing a lot of videos about DeX. As you can see, I got DeX pulled up right here. And uh, so I wanna show y'all guys uh, some of the features that DeX does. All right, so right here, I have a wired keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. And uh, with DeX, you could connect uh, two USB along with a landline, and uh, you could connect a lot of peripherals uh, to DeX. Uh, unfortunately, on the Apple TV, uh, you can only do uh, wirelessly from uh, the iPhone, and you have to do all your connections via Bluetooth from the iPhone. All right, so right here, we got DeX. I made a lot of videos about DeX, as you can see. So let me go ahead on to show you guys that I, I like DeX. It, it actually uh, replaces my PC. As you can see, uh, I use a program that's called DeX Max. And as you can see, just like a PC, I got all my stuff arranged. Uh, and uh, again, I've made videos about this. But uh, yeah, so if I wanted to get some work done, all I got to do is uh, click on some of my work stuff and I'm good to go. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and click on the game. All right, Asphalt 8. And uh, what I like about DeX, right, uh, it's full screen and I can connect a controller and I'm going to connect this controller via USB to my DeX system so I can play this game. I want to show you guys that before I go to the iPhone. All right, guys, so as you can see, uh, I got Asphalt 8 running on DeX. I'm using a controller via USB. Uh, I want to kind of show you guys that it is possible uh, to do this on uh, the DeX system using USB. I want to kind of briefly play the game so y'all guys can see uh, as I can go here claiming my prize. Yes. All right, and I'm starting. As you can see, it works. All right, so it, for gaming, uh, the deck system looks like it works very good. So there it is. I just want to briefly show you that uh, I got a controller connected to my deck system uh, and going from there. Well, let's get out of here. Use the decks, and as you can see, it's pretty fast and fluid, right? And you could use Word uh, with the keyboard and everything and, and get work done. And uh, one of the things that I like it, on the deck system is I can use Splash Top, which is a free uh, app that you can connect uh, via uh, wireless, okay, and you can connect your system to your PC at another location. So right now, I'm connected to Windows 10 uh, remotely, all right? So I'm connected to Windows 10 remotely. As you can see, now I have full access uh, to Windows 10, all right? And uh, so these are the good things that you can do on DeX, all right? So right now, I'm connected here and I can do anything I want uh, in the ecosystem of Windows 10. I have Steam on my home PC, right? I have Steam on my home PC. I am about to run Call of Duty right now on DeX. Can I run a Steam game on DeX? Look at that, this is a Steam game running on DeX. Look how smooth and fluid this is, right? and I'm going to resume game. Yes. And I'm running a full-fledged Steam game on DeX. And right now, since it has a fan on it, it's not hot. So that is DeX. Let me go to and connect the iPhone to the same system 
and let's see if the iPhone can mimic the deck system. All right, so I have the iPhone 10, all right, hooked up to my Apple TV, all right, and I have uh, the Apple keyboard paired up with my iPhone 10, all right? And right now, I just turned it on, and right now we see all the Apple TV stuff, right? All right, so uh, let's go it on and uh, go to mirroring. So I want to mirror my screen, all right, and I'm mirroring it. There it is. All right, so right here, I got a full mirror going on with my iPhone 10. All right, so let's get out of here. And as you can see that uh, it shows uh, the portrait, not landscape, all right? So everything I do on my iPhone is gonna show up on my TV. Now the latency, it all depends on your internet connection. So because I'm doing this via Wi-Fi, so uh, as you can see, it's not so bad. And as you can see there, it's kind of hang there a little bit. So this is the type of experience that you're gonna get uh, doing this via Apple TV. All right, so let's get into it here. All right, and again, got some latency there. And I got very fast Wi-Fi, so uh, that's, gonna, that's gonna play a big part here. But again, let's see if we can get some work done here. Go into Word, go to my Word document here, and we go turn it this way so we can get full screen access. And there it is, right? There it is. So I could get a pretty decent type of experience. And as you can tell, I could blow it up, right? And um, so yeah, if I wanna type, I could use my keyboard here. All right, so let me go on and see if I can type. I was typing something earlier. All right, so let's see. All right, there it is, right? So I can type this. A test. There it is. So there it is. All right. So I just typed this as a test. And let's see if I can go to Excel spreadsheet. All right. And let's get out of here so y'all guys can see a little full screen here. All right. So I haven't set up my Excel spreadsheet uh, on my iPhone yet. So we go get out of here. Let's go to PowerPoint. I was working on a PowerPoint uh, presentation uh, document earlier today. All right. So there it is. This is this, this what I was working on earlier. All right, so there it is. And I can flip it to the side and I can continue to work. So yes, I can get some work done. And again, if I wanted to do some work, let's see. Yes. All right. And uh, let me go to a clean document. Go to a, a, a fresh one. All right. Let y'all guys see this. Get on in here. The only thing about this is that uh, you, I'm actually using the phone instead of a keyboard and a mouse. And that's that's the issue there, right? I'm actually using the phone instead of a keyboard and mouse. And that's the advantage that uh, the Dex have over the iPhone. Because, I mean, if I'm going to use the phone, then I might as well use the phone and not a bigger canvas. So uh, that's some of the things that you got to consider, too. And uh, let me go ahead and put some in here. Put a quick photo in here. There it is, put, the, put my Bible in there right quick. All right, so I can get some work done, right? There it is, pull it to the side so we get full screen, all right? So yes, you can get work done and I'm just mimicking my iPhone. So uh, yes, you could do Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on your iPhone 10 on a bigger canvas. Again, you can get keyboard support, but you do not get mouse support. All right, but let's go ahead and play some games. All right, and uh, let's see if we can play some games on a larger canvas uh, with the iPhone. And uh, let's go ahead and, and play some Asphalt 8. Again, unfortunately, you can't play Asphalt 8 uh, using a gamepad. Uh, you could have to use the phone, so uh, just so you know. But look at that, it's working. With the decks, you can use a keyboard and mouse, right, along with a gamepad. Uh, unfortunately, I would have to use uh, the phone in order to do all the controls, which some people might not mind. So there it is. Not having any issues here. All right, there it is. Okay, so I am having some latency issues here. Ooh, yeah, as you can see, is ooh, yeah, it's just not the same experience. 
All right. As you can see, I'm, I am getting some drop frames and I'm getting some latency issues here. Kind of let y'all guys see this. All right. And uh, yes, I'm getting some type of latency issues there. Let's see. Let me see if I can do some drifting. Yeah, I, I can tell you that I'm really good at this and I kind of drifted a little bit, but it's definitely ain't the same experience uh, of having uh, decks because uh, the, see that as you can see, I'm having some technical difficulties there, right? Wow, look at that. All right, so I'm having some technical difficulties as you can see. Uh, it just is kind of not, not made uh, for this type of scenario. Uh, because I am kind of skipping it a little bit, dropping frames and stuff like that. See that? It's getting stuck. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's just not the same. So I would tell you as far as gaming, ah, it's just not the case here. Just not the case I'm trying to game here. All right. So as far as gaming, nah, it's just not the case. All right. So let's go to Splash Top and let's see if I can mimic my PC um, and uh, go from there. All right. All right, so I'm on my remote desktop, as you can see, iPhone 10, uh, and I'm on Windows 10. All right, using my remote desktop, uh, and uh, as you can see, I'm not getting full screen here, not like the Dex, but I'm getting half screen kind of block in the middle there, uh, as you can see. Uh, everything's kind of working, but I, I'm not seeing full screen. But you can do your, all your controls here. Now, the biggest problem that you're going to have to try to do remote desktop. Uh, on your iPhone is that you don't have mouse support. So everything has got to be a hand gestured and stuff like that. So yeah, let's see if I can go to my Steam game. Let me see if I can play some Call of Duty. Oh yeah, let's see if I can play some Call of Duty. All right, so again, I'm on my remote server using a free app that's called Splash Top. Uh, and uh, you could do this uh, if you're at your office or somewhere else. And you got splash top running on both devices you can almost you can mirror your home pc uh to your iphone or android device yeah so unfortunately as you can see it's just not happening uh as, as i made a video uh showing off that you can run uh by call of duty on an android device you just you can't do it on the iphone all right uh, and you got because of the resolution issues here, uh, unfortunately, yeah. So that's not happening here on the iPhone. And I made a video, me playing Steam games on my Android device. So I do have a video about that. But unfortunately, you can't do that on the iPhone. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right. Can I watch movies mirrored from my iPhone uh, to my Apple TV? Yes. Uh, can you get some work done? Uh, with the iPhone using the Apple TV? Yes. Uh, is it the same as Dex? No. Dex is a little more intuitive. Dex give you that more PC experience because you can uh, get a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. And also the Dex has uh, peripherals that you can plug up via USB versus you have to mirror your iPhone using an Apple TV. Uh, then using HDMI to uh, a monitor. Now, you can't connect a, a keyboard to your iPhone, uh, but it just don't give you that same experience. Definitely if you want to play games. So uh, all in all, I want to tell you that the, the Samsung DeX is made for this type of stuff, and the iPhone is kind of not made for this kind of stuff. Uh, that's my comparison between... Uh, the iPhone 10 using the Apple TV and uh, the deck system using the Galaxy Note 8. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about all this stuff and all this glory. <laughs> See you guys on the next video. Peace.